Hey, I want to talk a little bit today about surf keys. Um, surf key, quote unquote, is a key that will not start the car, but it will open a door. Sometimes it doesn't have all the cuts in it to actually turn in the ignition, but most importantly, it doesn't have a chip in it. This is like a test key for a Honda four track high security vehicle. And um, this would be a good example of a surf key because it obviously doesn't have a chip, it will not start an unmodified. Honda factory vehicle. Sometimes people have bypassed that by hiding a chip inside the ignition, something like this. Um, not really the good way to go about this thing. I'd be more comfortable letting this thing hang out of my ignition than bypassing the chip because that means that anybody who runs up with a screwdriver can start the vehicle. Um, whereas removing the chip from the equation means they could turn the thing all day long. If they don't know that code, they're never going to start the car. Um, if they don't have any programming software, they're never going to start the vehicle. But um, here's a good example right here. Something like this. Now, obviously, this is a test key. This is a great example of a surf key right here. But you can go even further. This one is off of an old Honda Accord right here. This is what I like to do is I just like to drill a little hole, chamfer it out so it's nice and smooth, cut the, the head of the key off. Now, here's the interesting thing is it's just enough to fit into the lock. It's a little rough on the fingers. But what I do is I drill a hole in here so you can come in with a little screw or something like this or, or a big pen is a good example and then put it through there and then if you need a little bit more leverage in turning and something like that, personally, I would believe in just biting the bullet and just hurting your fingers to get your keys out of your car. Not a bad idea. Anyway, we've got a different project here. What we've got going on is um, this is a botched key. Now, the cuts on this will not operate in the vehicle we want this to set to, but it has a perfectly good chip. What I've done is I've run a Dremel all around it, zippered around, and I'm going to pry it apart. And I'm going to harvest that chip out of there, to say. And uh, what I'm going to do, at least in theory, if it works out, is I'm going to take that chip out, and I'm going to make a piece of jewelry out of it. Uh, a ring for my right hand, as I'm right-handed, I start the car with my right hand. And the whole idea behind it is I'm going to make this car a uh, keyless at least during the day function where I could leave this in the ignition and then what I can do is jump back to my car and turn it. Um, obviously I don't like the idea of it looks like a key in the ignition. I might paint this black, do something a little covert maybe, but in theory as I'm turning the surf key the chip that's going to be on my hand is so close to the ignition that the, the car should start. Um, this is just a fun little project. I might have a friend of mine just do some custom jewelry, something tasteful see if I could stow that chip in there and uh, we, we've got a wasted key so this is pretty much trash unless you want to do something with a chip and sometimes I'll have customers you know who you know want to remove the chip from the system I don't like doing that but I'll you know hide a chip inside program it whatever but really other than that it doesn't have a whole lot of use so I'm gonna do some little fun project and see if we could do a keyless car on a otherwise keyed car and uh, We'll see if we can do it in another video if this works out successfully and uh, we'll go from there.